Okay, well, this video is going to be based on uh, connecting two routers, no matter what brand they are, together. So, like, just say for instance, this one, this router, they upgraded my, I upgraded my internet speed, and I got this from my charter cable company. And this is my personal router. And the only the only reason why I'm why I want to use my my personal router with this router is because um my my other my other router meaning this one I can't have it shoot the let me see the because you know how the the, the gigahertz so let me see I'll show you right now right there. There's 2.4 and 5 uh, of the the gigahertz or of the signal. So I wanted the faster wireless signal, but for some reason my drive, my like my phone that I'm using right now, does not support it. My printer does not support it. I have to use the 2.4 the 2.4 gigahertz for my phones to use the Wi-Fi so on the on this router I have wireless but I have it where it's on the on the 5 point the 5 point gigahertz so my phones won't connect to this router but this router is connected to my phones and this router is shooting out the four point the two point four gig gigahertz of um wireless signal that my phone could support. So the way of getting this to work is let me see from from this from this box I connected one wire just one wire and to to one of these ports or just connect one wire don't connect it to the internet port because it will not work connect it to either one of these four, uh, four and before doing this the before doing this um i'm going to show you how to do it on the computer but um before connecting this one connect this one to your computer go to the settings go to the 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 um the web browser your 192.168.0.1 or or dot one dot zero or dot one dot one no whatever IP address your wireless um, device has, but for for mine 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 had nine ninety two one six sixty eight um zero point one so this one and this one had it so for the, both of them not to collide with each other and for you to have access to both of the the routers you will, will have to configure one of them one of the routers like this one i put it zero point two and the, the original this one is zero point one so like i'm going to show you an example my gaming router my gaming router is okay this is where we're gonna go to configure the router so just say for example I wanted to configure my gaming router and, and at default it will be one right here will be one but I don't want it to be a 1 because I want it to be a, a 2 so it will be my secondary router where I'm going to be going to so this is the way you change your, your router IP address right here um, on mine I'll go to network settings uh, but on your router just find the settings where to to configure your um, your IP address on your router so you could um, Con uh, connect so you could connect both of the routers without them colliding with each other 
and you're gonna have to know the the sub mask just say on your other router your your um you're gonna need to know the 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 DNS the first one will be for the the first one will be for the first router this second one you have to, three of them so you want to use the second one on the second router on this router so when you're setting up this one when they ask when it asks you for the the DNS you're gonna come to your first router and copy this and, and use it on the on the second router and second of um and or let me see and then another thing your wireless signal make sure your wireless signal it's different it has a different name than the other one cause this one's D-Link and the other one it's um I don't know that's what they say um the SSID it's your wireless signal name so you can name it whatever you want you want to name it but just don't name both wireless signal the same name for some reason and this one's running on the 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 band damp the bandwidth 2.4 and on on my on this um on my first one we're running wireless signal radio we're running five five um gigahertz band the reason why is because these do bands i don't know the whole meaning about do bands they can't even um this one it you have to pick either or two or five gigahertz and this router you have to pick between between um on um, five or two so now i have one router running this and I could run all my wireless device without no problem and you could always set your password on, set your password to anything you want or um, set your password the same password on both um, both wireless signal so um, hopefully this video helped and um, now